All right, guys, Beekler Outdoors here. We got another video for you today. Uh, today, what we have for you is we're gonna do a video on mosquito control, okay? So as most of you know, mosquito control is really bad when you're hunting or when you're outdoors in general. So I'm gonna go through a lot of different ways where we can you know, take on this mosquito control and not have to really worry about it. So what we're gonna do is I got a couple of different ways from sitting on your porch to actually being out hunting to actually get a hold of this mosquito problem that a lot of us have, especially in here in Florida. So we'll kick it off right here. The first thing I usually use, if I have guests over or we're having a party or something, one of the main things that we usually use, everybody uses, you know, these regular citronella candles, right? And these regular citronella candles, you light them up, they have a flame. And a citronella is supposed to keep away mosquitoes. But um, what I've noticed from citronella candles is that mosquitoes are attracted to light. So if you ever know, you've ever been in your house out, out at night, you put your cell phone on, mosquitoes start coming around and bugs. So it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone, or maybe not, because you have the light on. So you light this up, okay, and it emits a light. And you have your citronella in here. And there will be links in the description to everything I'm showing you in these videos. Um, so you light this up. And the reason I like this one a lot is it holds a lot of fluid in it. So when you light this up, it emits the citronella smell and it's supposed to keep the mosquitoes away, but they're attracted to light. So how does that work? It keeps them away, but it brings them in. So I have mixed thoughts on this. When I have parties, I put them out because they look cool and it's supposed to keep mosquitoes away. Every time I have this on, people still get bit by mosquitoes. So this right here is cool, looks nice, eh, whatever. Um, the next thing that we use, and this works really well, it's called these mosquito repellent coils, okay? Now, uh, what you do with these coils, how they come, they uh, come in a pack, okay? And you take them apart. And when you take them apart, they actually come with, in the pack, they come with a couple of these. They come with, you know, one of these things right here, okay? Then you take this and you open it up and it, it will hold your coil, okay? And then what you do is you take your coil and when you take your coil out, you just kind of bring it apart. And I'll actually open a coil to show what it looks like, but, and you put it on there like that, okay? And then you burn the tip of this. And when it burns, it, it's not a flame, okay? It's like an ember. And it burns like a, kind of like a slow, slow fuse, all right? And when it burns, this keeps mosquitoes away. Now, on a scale from one to 10, I'd say the citronella lamp would be a two. This would be a six to keep mosquitoes away, okay? When we have parties, we usually have uh, the candle going and we have a couple of these going. That kind of keeps it calm, but people are still getting bit with mosquitoes. They're like, man, mosquitoes are still bad. So, uh, the next step to that, okay? And these coils here, I believe they're like 99 cents, link in the description to order them. Uh, these are really good for parties and stuff, but then people say, oh my God, I'm still getting bit. So what do you run out and grab? You run out and grab some repellent. Uh, this is a repellent I recommend, I like it. Links in the bottom. This right here is 40% DEET. Now for those of you who don't know too much about mosquitoes, when it comes to DEET, DEET is the agent that kills mosquitoes, okay? So they have 40% DEET, I've seen 60, and I'll get into this, which here, this bad boy right here is 95% DEET. So then they spray this on them and it keeps them away. The problem with that is that when you have, spray this on, you have this grease on you. Yes, it keeps the mosquitoes away, but you, you smell like <laughs> mosquito fluid and you know, it, it keeps them away, but it's just, I don't know, you're spraying a chemical on your body. It does work. If it's last minute, you're in the woods, you're getting tore up. This, this is my last ditch resort. I spray it all over my body, okay? Um, it doesn't really have a scent to it, but 40% deets about where I would go putting on your skin. Now they do have one, which is 95% deet, okay? And there is a link to this on the bottom in the description. The reason why this bottle is so small, because this stuff is strong, like Mac Daddy strong, okay? And from what I was told, you guys could do your research, I'm not a scientist, but they said that D is pretty much Agent Orange. I don't know how true that is. So that's what I was always told by a lot of people. But this is 95% D and it comes in a small container and it says, do not spray this on your skin because you can overdose on it. So 
Just to let you know that, you know, you got citronella, which keeps mosquitoes away. You got flames that bring them toward you. You got topical repellents, you got medium repellents, and you have strong repellents, okay? What I personally carry, I carry this in case of an emergency, in case I run out, okay? Or just say if I'm lost in a swamp and I'm getting destroyed, all right, by mosquitoes. This is what I recommend, Repel. There's Deep Woods Off, there's a bunch of different brands. Repel, this is not an aerosol, so it's good for the environment. It's just a pump spray. The other ones have aerosols. You know, I'm not one of those fancy, the environment, this and that. Yes, I want to save our environment. Yes, I want the world to be a terrific place, but the issue is the pump sprayer and it kind of avoids anybody saying, oh, using aerosols, but you can also buy this in a spray. But why, when you can get an aerosol and you pop in your bag and you don't have to worry about it losing air, it always pumps, so try to use. Now, like I said, uh, I have the main thing we're gonna use, but there's a company out there called Thermocell, okay? And Thermocell makes products that basically, I'll show you one. This is what I bring out at parties. Now, this is a Thermocell, okay? And what a Thermocell is, you have these pads, okay? You have a pad. It comes with pads and it also comes with these, okay? This is basically a butane cartridge, okay? And this right here, what you do when you buy this, okay? It comes with some of these, and you can buy the refills. The links to the refills are in the bottom, okay? And you take your thermocell uh, butane and you screw it into the bottom. And this, this is how it works for all thermocell units, okay? You put that in the bottom and you screw it tight, okay? Then you take your blue pad out of here, which I don't want to open this one, but as you can see, there's a pad in here, okay? There's a little pad and it's in here. And you slide your pad. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it for the video, okay? You open this up, okay? There you go. And this is the pad you get, okay? And you take this pad, all right? And you slide this pad, okay? Into your thermosome. Now, you have your butane in the bottom, okay? And you have your pad in the top. Now, the pad has a chemical on it, probably some kind of a DEET, I'm not sure. It has a chemical that this chemical will keep the mosquitoes away 20 feet away from you. Trust me, this works. And what, what you do with all of them, they're all the same. Uh, what you do is all the thermocells have two functions. You turn on the butane and you light it. Now, when you turn on the butane, right now, uh, I have the butane on. You could probably hear it. And what I do is, you heard it, it just ignited, okay? And if you look down in the hole, okay, there is an ignited flame, okay? Now, that flame heats up this pad and it emits uh, a barrier of like the best mosquito repellent ever. And you will have no mosquitoes around you for 20 feet. Now, I warn you, when you buy it, if you have mosquitoes around you and you pull it out real quick and you go to turn it on, let me turn it off. And, and you pull it out real quick because you know you want to get the mosquitoes away. This takes about 20 minutes to get started. So what I normally do is I will start it before people come over and then put it out. So it takes about 20 minutes, okay? And uh, there's a link to this in the bottom. This also has a light, as you can see, it has a light. And I guess that would be for on the days when there are no mosquitoes, because remember, mosquitoes are attracted to light. But this is a pretty good unit for having around your house, okay? I highly recommend that. But now when you're going hunting, when you're going out to hunt, pick that up. When you're going out to hunt, they make a hunting version of thermostat, which is easy to carry, okay? And this is it right here, okay? Uh, it has a bag, and in the bag, it stores one of your butane cartridges. And on the side, it'll store your pads, okay? And I'll take this one out of the case because uh, in the link I put in the description, it's of the newer one. They're all the same model. They just changed the shape of them and the way they look, but they all have an on button and a click to ignite. They're all exactly the same, okay? So I'll take this one out of the case, all right? And how, how this one is, uh, you take off the cover on the bottom, okay? And here's your 
butane. Like I said, all of them have a butane that goes on the bottom. And as you can see, this says refill on it. Uh, I do have a way to refill these, which I'll do another video to that. Um, but um, you take it, okay, and it's all the same. All the thermos cells are the same. You screw the butane in the bottom, okay. All right. All right. And then when you screw it in the bottom, put your case on it. You slide in your pad, okay, which I showed you how to slide the pad. And you just take your pad out and you slide it right in there. And then it's just pretty much the same thing. You turn it on, okay, you go to on. Hear it? And then you click it a couple times until it turns on. Okay, so you get it here, you get it where you can see it, and you see the flame in there. There's a flame in the back. Now this thing is on. Now this gets a tad bit hot. You know, you have to let it cool down before you put it back in your pack. But you just let this thing sit, okay, uh, on the table or in your tree stand. And I keep it in the case, which is right here. Let me get it in the case. Get it in the case. All right, let me turn it off. And I keep it in the case, okay? And the case has a little strap in the back. So you can put it on your backpack. Usually what I do when I'm in a tree stand, I usually put it at the bottom of my feet on the bottom of the tree stand and let, let the smell even up. And this will keep the mosquitoes away. I've actually been hunting like in a swamp. And when I was in the swamp, there was mosquitoes like you just heard bzz, 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 all around you. And I lit this thing up. Now, I, I urge you to, when, you, when you're about 20 minutes from your spot, turn this thing on because it takes a while for this to heat up and start emitting. Now, this is scentless, okay? There's no smell. You will smell a tiny little smell. I've never had a problem with animals when I had these on, so that's a no worry. And if you're worried about scent control, I got a video to scent control up on the top, which will tell you about how to keep your scent control down, okay? But I've never had a problem with animal smelling this, okay? So, when you know you're about 20 minutes from your stand, I usually crank this thing on when I get into my truck. By the time I get into my truck and I drive to my stand, and I get to my stand, this thing is ready rocking, okay? And I keep it, uh, I'll either hang it, sit on the post of my tree stand, okay? Or I will put it on the ground. Now, these things run you about 25 bucks, okay? And then the refills, the refills are what cost money. Now, when it comes to the refills, you, you wanna buy the Thermosel refills because the Thermosel refills are the best. They work, it's their brand. There are different brands online. And like I said, links to refills, links to this, all in the description on the bottom. Go there and buy them up. Uh, I got really good prices on the stuff down there. But like I said, this is what you need. It, it, out of all the stuff I showed you, this is your goal, okay? Now you gotta think, you're gonna spend, you know, when you buy this stuff, you're looking at you know, over $25 by the time you buy all your liquid and you put your stuff in there. Uh, this is the cheapest option. This is the cheapest option. Uh, this is about a dollar or two. Uh, this works really good. You can use these in your tree stand too, okay? Um, but you know, you have to worry about it falling down and just whatever. You don't want it to fall on the ground and you're up in a tree and this thing catches fire down at the bottom somewhere. You don't want that to happen, okay? Uh, a warning to this stuff, big warning. If you're in hunting and you have your gun next to you, do not spray this on your gun if you have a parkerized finish. I've noticed that um, the chemicals that are in this destroy parkerizing. I had a brand new Remington 700 SPS and I was hunting in uh, Cedar Creek scrub and I had my gun sitting across from me and I sprayed myself down and I got this on the parkerizing. Now that gun always rusts. I have to always keep it greased. So just something to remember, if you're gonna spray this stuff on you, don't get it on your parkerizing of your gun, ever. Okay, and like I said, you know, you get these options, which, you know, a couple of bucks, you know, links to these are in the bottom, links to this in the bottom. And this right here will run you about 20. And it comes with some, it comes with a pad and it comes with some butane to start. And you want to buy the refills. Uh, how long does it last? When it's on, I'd say about four hours, four hours. And you just swap them out. So it's not bad. Uh, it's about $20 for the box. And the box comes with, uh, I think about 10 pads and I think about three or four of the butanes. But this is your goal. This is where you want to be at. You want to be at the thermosel. Because if you have one of these at your house, people don't know what they are. So if you don't want to look like, you know, you're hunting at your house and you, know, you have the regular homeowner's option that you could just put on the table. It looks cool because you have a light and it just, it looks cool sitting there, you know, more than, you know, having like this thing, which is, is more geared towards people who hunt. That's why it has a strap and stuff on it. But I use either or. Uh, I've never really taken this to my tree stand unless I can't find this but this always stays in my pack and i have a video up here to a uh, hunting pack with everything you have to carry in it so go and check that video out and that's pretty much it so when it comes to mosquito control like i told you you want to get a thermosel 
Thermosel is where you want to be at. I'm not endorsed by these companies. I buy this stuff myself. And I'm just telling you because the mosquitoes are bad in Florida, man. I'm talking about like, even mosquitoes, I'm surprised the mosquitoes don't just pick up my Thermosel and kind of take it away because it's like crazy. But like I said, Thermosel, this is what you need for mosquitoes. This is your end game. All the other stuff is the quick way out, quick consumer stuff. If you want to really, really bottom line handle mosquitoes, a Thermosel. That's what you have to get. Links in the description. Once again, if it's your first time here, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please go in the bottom, like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to give you notifications when we're putting up new videos. Hit that thumbs up, put us in the algorithm so more hunters can see these videos and the things I put out. All right? So, like I said, I really appreciate you watching. Once again, Beagler Authors out.